Welcome everyone to St. Robert as we celebrate the solemnity of Mary, the mother of God. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. O God, who through the faithful virginity of Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant we pray that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. From out of the depths I cry unto you, Lord, hear my voice, come hear my prayer. Oh, let your ear be open to my pleading. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Just as those who wait for the morning light, even more I long for the Lord my God, whose word to me shall ever be my comfort. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord.
the name of the Lord. Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed but by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they have heard and seen, just as he had been told to them. When eight days were completed for their circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Happy New Year. What a wonderful opportunity to end this last day of the year here in church. And today we ought to be thankful. Maybe there is not much to be thankful, but we should be thankful for 2020. Actually, we have a lot to be thankful for. Because we recognize how the Lord has been present during this whole year. How he has blessed us in many ways. And especially how he has given us his family to us. And today as we celebrate the solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. We recognize that great mother that he has given to us. A mother that has been very close to us during this last year, and a mother that will continue to be closer to us in the year to come. And today, uh, this feast day is not new in the church, but it's recently new move to, to, to the, today or the first day of the year, because this feast day of Mary, Mother of God, was a small celebration before. Today actually was celebrated at the 8th, or today is the 7th, but tomorrow will be the 8th day of Christmas. We'll celebrate the circumcision of the Lord. That was the feast day before um, the Second Vatican Council, but then they moved this feast day to today as an acknowledgement of the Mother of God, the Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus who is God, therefore she has the title of the Mother of God, but not mother of God, but as well mother of all of us. As St. Augustine will tell us that she is the mother of the head and the body and the body, which is God, Jesus is the head of the church and we are the body of Christ. So we will recognize Mary as our mother. And what a wonderful mother we have. And I think for most of us, we have good relationships with our mother. And, and I have one. I, I didn't have a, a, a father uh, that was growing up with me, but I have an excellent mom. I know all of you said that your mom is the best mom ever. I don't believe it. My mom is the best mom ever. Because she sacrificed so much for us because she was there for us. 
And that's the mother that we recognize in heaven. It's a mother that has given everything she has for us. A mother that reached out to us, a mother that is present to us all the time. A mother that has appeared in the world in so many ways, telling us the great love and the mercy of God that is just amazing. I mean, just the images of Mary in this church, I couldn't count them. We have this beautiful altar of Mary here on the side. We have this image of Mary here in front of the anvil. We have the image of um, the miracles medal right on top of the entrance of the church. We have this image in the nativity these days. We have the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe over there. But if I count all the windows where Amira, I, 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 I got tired this afternoon, I stopped counting. But Mary is so present in her life that is so beautiful. I remember one friend of my sister growing up, and, and she liked to dress really nicely. And, 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 and we always admire her dresses and everything and how she was put up all the time, beautiful dresses and stuff. And, and, and we asked, like, why, why would you dress all the time different? Because I don't remember seeing the same dress on her ever. And it's like, why, why would you do that? Why would you take so much time to dress up and, and, and look so nicely all the time? And she said to us, my mom, my mom told us that if Mary, our mother, can do it, so can I do it too. And I was like, what do you mean Mary, our mother, dressed all the time? And he says, yes, think about all the apparitions of Mary. She never dressed the, dressed the same. Every little apparition of Mary in every country, she dressed differently. And it's because her message of love is different. It's always to the, a particular point in time that we need it the most. It's a mother that is not repeating the same annoying message of before, but it's a mother that is bringing the message of Christ, of love and his mercy to our particular time and place. It's a mother that knows our language, knows what we need, and is reaching out to us all the time, that we don't get tired of his message, that we don't run away, but actually it's a mother that is constantly telling us about the beautiful and renewing salvation of God. And one of the things that I noticed before Mass was that one of the daughters of Catherine who read the first reading was crying. I don't know if she was crying because she had uh, anxious that mom left, but I was really praying that she would cry when Catherine was reading. Because that's, that's an image of how we ought to relate to our mother. That when we don't have her around, we should cry. We should, we should freak out when our mom is not around. When our Heavenly Mother, when we don't reach out to her, we should freak out because we need her. We need her protection. We need her love. And, and we recognize that Mary who is there defending us every single day, protecting us. And she is the one who crushed the head of the serpent. The devil is afraid of Mary. And don't, be, don't, rem, don't forget that, that the devil is terrified of Mary. She is a bad... <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> she is tough. She, Mother Mary, don't mess with her. And she is such a powerful intercessor for us that we as his children should all the time seek her rescue, seek her protection, seek her to help us out all the time. And what a wonderful mother we have. And of course, as a good mother, she's not all about herself. She loves us and she wants to, to ask to be protected under her, 
but she's always us pointing us to the true God, that we may continue to have a good relationship with our Heavenly Father and with her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. So don't be afraid to have a relationship with Mary, because Mary will always guide you to a deeper relationship with our Heavenly Father. And, uh, and growing up, and I had struggled with God the Father, Mary was the one who revealed to me the beautiful face of the Father. And, and, and Mary is that. Is, is such a wonderful mother who is always seeking our salvation and seeking that we restore, restore and continue to grow our relationship with God and her Son and the Holy Spirit. So today, as we begin this new year, we come to Mary, our mother, that she may protect us, that she may help us, that she may be our guide, that she may lead us toward heaven, that she may help us to be good disciples. So what a wonderful mother we have. What a wonderful gift our Lord has given to us to call her mother our own mother. So as we celebrate this great solemnity of the mother of God, let us make that commitment this year to grow in our relationship with Mary, our mother. Maybe we need to pray the rosary more often. Maybe we need to read more about the life of Mary. Maybe we need to learn how to be more humble like her, how to love the Lord more deeply like her. Maybe to learn how to reflect everything in our hearts in order to discover the great plan that he has for us. Because if when we are closer to Mary, then it's nothing we should be afraid of. Because she is such a powerful mother. So let us ask the Lord today that we may bless this year, just as the first reading teaches us how to bless, that the Lord may bless 2021, that we may embrace it with hope and especially recognizing the great love that God has for us. And that these new chapters, um, or these new 365 new pages of 2021, that we may write a beautiful book of the glory of God in our own lives. Please rise. And let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, through God from through God, begotten not made come substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified in the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. At the beginning of a new year, and with renewed hope, let us pray to our Heavenly Father. That this will be a year when violence gives way to peace, and hatred gives way to reconciliation, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That with the shepherds, the church and its leaders will find Christ anew and be astonished at what we see. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the continued work of our scientists and medical professionals, this year will bring an end to the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as we begin a new year, more people from our community will answer God's call to religious life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community, blessed by the Christ child, may be compassionate and generous to everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and lonely may find relief in mind and body, especially victims of COVID-19. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will find joy in the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, the people of St. Robert Parish, and for our personal intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of surprises, you send Jesus to us as a child. Hear the prayers we now pray through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glorify in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name and the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of your Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we may humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Bishop, and all those who hold him to the truth and, and the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. We pray for the living. And all gather here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day and which Blessed Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, brought forth the Savior for this world, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, Jan and Paul, Cosman and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family order our days in your peace and command that we may be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, with your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask your mighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar and high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. We pray for the faithful departed. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some cheer and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. And meet us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be. What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Oh, angels greet with anthem sweet while shepherds watch a keeping. This 
Jesus Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. Why lies he in such me? Are feeding good Christians fearful and sinners hear the silent word is bleeding. This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds God and angels sing.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and the mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. And let us pray for this new year that the Lord is given to us, that through the intercession of Mary, our mother, uh, it may be a blessed year as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. And Mary, our mother, has been a, a very important part of my life where I grew up in a small chapel that we grew up. The, it was the image of Our Lady of Perpetual Help that was always there. My home parish was Our Lady of the Snows. And, um, and we have a, a huge devotion to Our Lady of um, Perpetual Help of, Good Help of Christ. What's St. Bosco's? Help of Christian, yep. So... Um, a great devotion to her, Maurice Ciliadora, in Sp so I always try like. And, and I, like, I like the title in Spanish, Help of Christians is Beautiful, and actually that's the patron saint of the Archdiocese of Milwaukee, um, Mary, help of, help, <laughs> help of Christians. Um, but I love the, the title in Spanish because in, in English, I don't know, maybe it's because it's my second language, doesn't sound as... as as really the available as Mary is, like in Spanish, is auxiliadora, which means like she's there to help you at any moment and, and, and every time. And, and so she, that's our mother who is always be there ready for us. So I'm useless every time that I preach about Mary because she's so dear to my heart that I want to tell you everything about her. And I usually doesn't work well when I try to explain uh, uh, the devotion that I have to Mary. So I really uh, encourage you to get to know Mary, our mother, because she's such a, a beautiful mother who is always helping us to go closer and closer to Christ in our way of life. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace pour out his blessing in abundance and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace, grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. The Mass is ended, go in peace. And of all my 36, almost 37 years of my life, I think I had never seen so much hope like this year. I think people are tired of 2020 and they're looking forward to 2021. So I hope 2021 will be better than 2020. But I guess we are pretty much in the bottom. So I think 2021 will be a great year. And we pray that you may have a blessed year this year. So happy uh, and a blessed new year to all of you. And as always, please leave your kneelers down when you are, and if you are able to help us sanitize after everything after Mass, we'll greatly appreciate it. And have a wonderful year. Thank you, Father.
joy is the joy of all ages to come.